Well, hello everyone and welcome back. I'm not going to stand here talking for very long. We'll get straight into it in just a second. Long story short, this is just an updated guide from what we made about a year ago as many of the quest items have in fact changed and there's been additional monsters added in to make it slightly easier. So we're just going to go through that with a bit of patchwork so hopefully you find this video useful. We are here today to do the full walkthrough for Archmage class which you could begin from Dash Join Archmage and by doing Warlix quest. We have lots to go through and yes, Ultra battles are required for the later parts. Anyway, let us begin with the first quest. So, Mystical Quills you can get by defeating Slugfet and some of these other monsters that will appear on screen. You do have quite a selection to choose from, so just go with what you feel is best. Anyway, next up, I join Ledger Main. Again, other options are available for the Mystical Shards. A couple other options are available to you. You can come along to join Dragon Rune and do the Help Professor Warlick quest, and as you can see, there are Mystic Shards and Mystic Quills that it drops off of the quest, or as our fellow helpful hero said, for Quills, there is also a room at Join Earthstorm, the red crystal room behind the crystal dragon and just go along, grab some of those, and then you'll be able to move on to your next quest. Next up, we are at Join a Guardian Tree, and this is a quest favourite of these farmer ones. All you need to do is go along, accept the boss quest, and as you can see, it will drop you the feather that you need. The boss will be here, I just had him accidentally turned off, but go through, defeat him, turn in that quest, and you will get the drop required. Anyway, let us move on to your next item, Mystical Ink. This is from Join Deep Chaos, and as you can see, you're going to have to defeat Cathal for this one. That one should drop as a temporary item for you. Anyway, let us move on to our next quest. So this time around, you need to join the Celestial Arena and you want to accept the final fight quest. This is so you're able to join the map above and you will spawn next to Arangx, who is the boss you need to fight in order to get the item drop. Then we can head along to join Eternal Chaos and you're going to want to defeat Eternal Dracoth in order to get your Chaotic Ever. Next up, we are joining Shadow Attack. Again, this time you want to defeat Death. Those farmers out there will be more than familiar with going along and defeating him. Next up, join Geysor and that will get you the vital ether. Then we can head along to join Fiend Shard and you're going to want to defeat Nulgas Fiend Shard, would you believe? And once you've done that, at some point, you will get the drop that you need. Okay, let us move on to yet another quest. There's quite a few to do here, but don't panic. Anyway, join a Sky Tower and you can get your Sky Locust. It's dropped by any of the three gemstones that you see on screen, so you can just spam those out with a farming class. Next up, join Natatorium, and again, it is dropped by any of the sea monsters. Alternatively, you can head over to Chaos Kraken, which is a 100% drop rate from the boss you can see on screen. Earth Locusts have fully changed location. They are now over at Join Ecto Cave and drop by Ectorex Walking to do on that one. And then we can join Elemental, defeat the Mana Golem, and that will get you your Prime Locust. As you go through these quests, make sure you are accepting the rewards, because as you can see, this next quest does in fact require the Scribbling Kit, Prismatic Ever, and the Arcane Locust drops, which you will have got from doing the first three quests. So hopefully you still have those saved at this point, but let us now move on to the rest of the quests items for this one. So you want to join Alchemy Academy which is where you can get the Dragon Runestone. As you can see nowadays there is just a gold merge shop to go through and do so do that, grab enough of those and move on to the next map which is join Dark Throne Hub. Go to the rep shop and you can get your Exalted Paladin Seal. I'm sure you're more than familiar with that if you've been grinding for a little while. Next up join a Shadow Fall and you can get your Forsaken Doom Seal. Again this time round from the evil rep shop and then we can head back and you'll be able to turn that quest in at this point. Next up is join Necropolis where hopefully you already have the blinding mace. If you don't you're most likely going to need to grab this because the brilliant auras you need are off the finding fragments with the blinding mace quest. It is worth pointing out you can actually merge them for bright auras within the merge shop in case you wish to do it that way. Next up join Spellcraft. You're going to need Archmage Ink and this is how you get about getting your next item. Just do the same patterns as I have done on screen and then inscribe them and you'll be able to get them as quest drops. Join Stream War and it is a quest reward for the prismatic seams that you need. All you need to do is literally the first two quests, rinse and repeat them, that's for the medals, as you will be more than used to with war events. We will need an unbound tome from now on for each of the following quests we're going through, and you can get that just by doing the fourth quest from Warlick that we've already looked at. Next up, join Time In and defeat Ezra Jow with the Warden or the Engineer to get your drops. You can then head over to Noxus Tower and defeat the Casters. However, if you go over to join Light Guard War, there is a 100% drop from the Sun Shield boss. 
Next up, join a portal maze C, and you need to go through until you find the knights. It will take a bit of walking, but once you get there, they will drop you the final round of items that you need for that quest. So our next quest has us back at join spellcraft using Archmage Inc. again in order to merge a scroll. Again, just do the pattern I did on screen. Pausing will probably be helpful. Next up, join a fire avatar, and you can get your shadow fire wisp from the monsters in the area, or for a higher drop rate, it's avatar Tindarius. It's worth saying he also drops the everlight flame, which you need later later on by defeating the monsters within the area and then again you're able to join to Fatia and at this point just defeat the cult worshippers which will drop you the items that you're looking for. Heading along to Mafic and defeating any of the monsters in the area will get you the basalt. Worth mentioning you can just kill the Mafic dragon for a 50% drop rate and then for your final item you're able to join the underlayer and defeat the void draconian. Important to note, only the level 75, 80 and 85 variations of the monster are going to drop you the item, so you will need to run through the map a little bit, and they will get you some dense dragon crystals. Once you've done that, head back, turn that quest in, and we can move on to the next one. So, this time around, would you believe we're back at Spellcraft? This time, you need to use Elemental Ink for your scroll of Frostbite, and just use the simple pattern that I've shown you on screen. Next up, join King Cole. The Ice Diamond is a quest reward from here. You just need to go and defeat some of the golems in the area. Our next three items are an interesting one. Rhyme Blossom, Temporal Flow, and Starlit Frost are all dropped by Icewing Warlord at Join Icewing. They're pretty much a 100% drop rate. The only one which may not be 100% is Temporal Flow, but that might just be that the wiki notes haven't actually put that on. However, you are also able to go along to the following three maps if you wish to get the items individually at a different monster for a lower drop rate. Next up, join Ice Pike, and it is dropped by the Ice Brother. You've got the following two quest items to get from here, the Rhyme Blossom and the Starlit Frost. So just defeat them both, and eventually you will get enough of them. Okay, so moving on, this time around we are at Join Ice Dungeon and dropped by the Shade of Kyanos. That's the monster to beat if you want some Temporal Flow. And would you believe it, that will be another quest complete at this point once you've gone along and got enough of the requirements. So next up, we join Spellcraft. This time you want to use some Fading Ink and this is to make your Scroll of Eclipse. If you don't know about these inks, you can actually just buy Arcane Quills again within a Merge Shot for Gold instead of going along and getting loads of Mystic Shards, so I'd recommend doing that. Next up, join the Void for your Void Essentia. It says defeat the fly, so that's surely got to be flibbergeable, watch a watch a watch a watch a blah, that you can see on screen. Next up, join a Stream War again. Go down to the end where you can defeat the boss, and that should get you the drop that you're looking for. Okay, so Vital Examinia is from Join Ultra Day. If Ultras are not your thing, join Dage and defeat Dage the Evil for a 1% drop rate on the items. And that is exactly the same at Join Ultra Tindarus for your Everlight Flame. Join Fire Avatar and Avatar Tindarus is your 1% drop rate option. Just go through, hopefully you've got some of those stacked up from the past and you can quickly grab those items. Okay, next up for your next quest, we are back at Join Spellcraft. And again, this time it's Archmage Inc for your curse. As always, just do the pattern that I've shown you on screen and that will get you the item that you're looking for. So for this next one, you have two choices. At Join Turk, you can get the Mortal Coil either from the Void High Lord's Merge Shop by using Rowents or you can go along and defeat Nulgath for the item drop. No idea the drop rate on that, so good luck with the farm. Okay, next up we are joining Celestial Pass and you want to be Azalef, and as you can see, that will drop you your next item. Then would you believe we're back at the void, you've got to beat the Draco Werepire, which in this case should be Nightbane. So once you've beaten him enough times, I'm sure you will get your drop. And then join Ultra Dark on for the Undying Resolve, and as you can see in the merge shop here, you'll need some insignias. If I remember right though, Ultra Dark on drops you five anyway for defeating him once, so fingers crossed if you've already done that, you've got him stacked up. If, however, you don't and you hate Ultra Battles, join the world and defeat Encore Darkon for a 1% chance to get yourself the item. Join Dark Karnax for the Calamitous Ruin. You can get it from Riven the Merge Shop here by merging some synthetic Viseras. Or alternatively, you can literally just go to the boss for a 7% drop rate. And just for info, the quest in the top right called The Last Stand is how you get yourself your merge items if you're choosing to do it that way. And then Elemental Binding for your final quest you can get just out the back at Join Archmage by defeating these prisms. And then once you've done that, you are all done with Archmage. Enjoy your class. So guys, thank you all very much for watching. Please do leave this with a like and of course subscribe. Any changes to the quest I will put down below and hopefully no wiki changes in the meantime. Until next time, have a lovely day.